It's really frustrating. Every time I have to send drawings to consultants, I end up spending so much time binding, cleaning, zooming extent, saving us, and dating each drawing. It's a daunting task, especially when I have multiple drawings to send. Is there any way I can automate this process and make it easier for myself? Welcome again to another Lazy Show where we teach you AutoCAD in a way that it's more productive so you can stop wasting your time. So in order to automate this process, we can create a quick command macro utilizing my tool palette by using the control three on your keyboard. Here on the tool palette, what we can do is add anything. For instance, I'm gonna add a piece of M text and I'm gonna drag it to my tool palette like so. So once I have that, I can edit its properties by uh, clicking on it and say um, edit. So over here, the first thing that I need to um, edit is the name of this command. So I was thinking on something like lazy consultant export or something like that. So this command will automate the process of bind and finally date in your drawing. So to start, what I can do is I use a system variable. Of course, I'm gonna leave the CC because that's a way to cancel any active command. And then I'm gonna use a system variable called kill mode. Kill mode will help us change or move from model to paper space or vice versa. So for instance, I can say till mode and a semicolon to represent an enter. I can say one to go to model space. And then in model space, I would like to perform a zoom extends. So Z for the zoom command and E for extends. Now, once I do this in model, when I send drawings out, I always like to also zoom extend in um, paper space. So that's what I'm gonna do now, kill mode. And this time I'm gonna say zero to go to or move to paper space. And over here, I'm also gonna do a zoom extends, right, as we previously did. So let's test what we have so far before we keep moving and adding more command strings over here to avoid any errors. So I'm gonna hit okay for now and test it, right, what we did so far. So we can see immediately that this command, what it did was zoom extends in paper space. And when we go to model space, it also did the same steps here in model. So let's keep moving now. I'm gonna again right click and change the properties of my lazy export command. And what about external references? When we send out drawings, we like to bind them. So the other person that receives these drawings won't have any problems such as missing extracts or missing drawings. And over here, what we can do next is automate the process of cleaning our drawing. Good practice is you don't want to send out heavy or huge drawings to your client. This will cause problems. Sometimes you are not gonna be able to even attach these drawings to a regular email. So to clean our drawing, there are many options. We can use the purge command, of course, that's a regular option. However, I'm going to use another option over here. Why? Because the next step would be to save us our drawing. We don't want to do all of the, these modifications in our current drawing. We want to create a copy. So that's what we're going to need to save us. So in order to kind of kill two birds with one stone, cleaning and saving us our drawing, I'm gonna use one command that can do both operations. And that command is called the export to AutoCAD. So this is a very powerful command that what we'll do is create a copy of our drawing. In this case, that's what we want because we want to save us this 
current drawing. And then at the same time, it will clean our drawing. So over here, I'm gonna start using a little more advanced, introducing a diesel expression because I want to add the date to the copy of my drawing. So what I'm gonna do is then again, introduce uh, the dollar character following by the M and we don't wanna, you know, waste time over here. So I'm gonna simply copy paste the code like so. So again, that was the export to AutoCAD with the inclusion of the date, which is what 100% uh, of the time we do, right? When we send our drawings, we like to rename it with today's date. So I'm gonna quickly test and let's see what we get so far. Test it. So well, we, what happened was, again, we're binding our X-rays, we're assuming extends, but this time the new thing that will happen is that if we open our Window Explorer folder over here, we can see a brand new file and it's simply a copy of the current drawing with today's date. And that's kind of what we wanted to achieve because we had to do this every time we send our drawing. So let's wrap up this command. Okay, so let's let's undo because we created a copy in our Windows folder, but over here we don't want to have our XRFs bind it and so on. So we need a way to fix this. So let's go back to our lazy export command and I'm gonna use a command called undo. So you, you're probably very familiar with that command, the undo command, or you can use the control Z to activate it. And what we need to undo is two operations, uh, type two to undo again two times, and of course press enter. So let's quickly test so far. So I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna click the lazy export and boom. So it looks like nothing happened, but if we go and check our uh, Windows folder, again, our copy with today's date uh, file is there, which is good. And in our current drawing, it looks like nothing happened. We still have our extras and so on, and that's what we want. Now, we need a final extra step over here, which is kind of a message, something that tell us, hey, this is what happened, or your files are ready, or a copy of your drawing was created, something. Because, you know, a month from now, you're gonna use this command and you're gonna say, oh, well, what is this command doing? Let's go back to our lazy export command and let's add a final piece of information to make it more useful. And what we need is, again, a message. I'm gonna simply paste uh, this message that says, a binded copy will be saved with today's date in your drawing folder. Let's do a final test. So I'm gonna click on it. And okay. So we still have our current drawing and we will have a copy of our drawing that we can simply uh, move it to our folder that you need. And once you open it, you will have a nice and clean and zoom extends drawing ready for you to send to your consultant client or so on. So what do you think guys about uh, this uh, lazy export command? 